So one of the members of my YouTube channel have posted a question, asked, Sir, I hope you are in the best health. Thank you very much. I am. I hope you are as well. The question is, I need your assistance to create an employee form in which I give an employee number and rest of the data should be shown on the form in Microsoft Access. For example, if I enter the employee number, his credentials like name, designation, section, date of joining, etc. will be shown on the form itself. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Thank you very much for the question. Hey, real quick, if you want me to answer your questions, make video particularly based on your questions. Make sure that you be a member of my channel and I'll ensure to make a video on top of that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, welcome to Loop Learning. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started and let's make this form and let's answer this question. So now we are in Microsoft Access. You can see that I have already created a form form uh, the that consists of the fields for example system id which is by default an id employee id which we will define employee name designation department date of joining manager name and employee status and you can see right on the top of the form a search bar or a search text box which says search employee and there's a button called search as well i have created a small database of the employees, the dummy employees. So we have employee IDs, okay? We have employee name, designation department, date of joining, manager, and the status of each employee. So we are going to answer the question, and the question was, if employee number is given in this text field, text box, and the button is clicked, the data is populated, the respective data is populated onto the form itself. I hope that was the question. I hope I understood the question correctly. And um, now let me demonstrate how to achieve it. Answer is we will achieve this with record sets. Record sets will make things easy for us in order to gather the information and populate onto the form. Now you can achieve the same results using the SQL, hopefully, uh, but record sets I will be using in this video and I will be searching for a record and I will be populating onto this form. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to achieve this uh, by uh, clicking on the search button. So I click on the search button, I click on the form design, go to property sheet, and I give a name to this button. So let's say BTN search, so that's the button search. And I go to the event tab, on click event, dot, 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 and we are in the code builder. So here we are, and we are in the code builder. Now what we are going to do, as I said, we are going to use record sets to achieve these results. So that means whenever we talk about record sets, we have to declare a variable. So we declare a variable, we'll say dim rs as a record set, all right? Now once we have declared the variable, we will set that variable. We'll say uh, set rs equals current db, db dot dot open record sets record set parenthesis open parenthesis close and in between the parenthesis we will give a reference of a record set which mean the table that's where we are looking for the data from the employees table so we give the name of the employees table now are we reading the information from the table only are we going to change any information in that table well, not at this stage. What we are doing is we are actually just reading the information from this uh, particular table or the record set. So that means we have to provide the additional type and options in uh, this uh, record set declaration. So let's say comma, and it is asking type and the option. So what type we are going to, uh, because we are reading the information, so let's say db open snapshot, option will be db read only so we're just reading the information uh i have done some mistakes so instead of db i typed in sb so db open snapshot and db read only that's the information we provide now we have declared the variable we set the variable equals to record sets which is employees table now what we need to do is we need to find out what employee of what 
user has given the input in this text box is available in the record set. So we are going to find out if that information is available. So how do we do that? Well, let's see. So we'll say rs.find first. Okay, rs. Some, for some reason, my keyboard is messed up. Anyway, rs.find first. Now it is asking, okay, tell me what should I find? So we are going to tell what needs to be find. So what we are going to tell is you find the employee ID, which is amp ID. Amp ID equals and the double quotes closed. Ampersand equals to what? Now it is saying, okay, I will find this employee ID against what? What, what text? What text box? Okay, I'll click okay. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll click okay. And I come to the employees uh, form. And I give reference of this text box. So basically what I'm saying to Microsoft Access that, hey, find first the employee ID from the record set, which is equal to the record set here, which is mentioned in this text box, which is named as txt search. So ampersand me dot txt search. Okay. Ampersand. Now, I want to mention one thing. Some, you know, unique IDs or employee numbers uh, will consist of the characters. Here, my employee IDs are all integer, right? All the digits from 1 to uh, 9. Now, some employee IDs, as I said, will consist of some characters. For example, you know, uh, A slash or E dash 1001. Maybe that's the employee ID. Um, so in that case, what you need to do is you need to define here, okay? So if the employee ID or the unique ID which you are referring uh, to find the information, uh, that you have to see what is that. Is it uh, the integer which is just numbers or it includes uh, the numbers and the numerical value, uh, sorry, alphabetic numeric value. If that's the case, then you have to define here. So it's quite easy. A single uh, quotation mark and the single quotation mark. That's it. But we do not have the uh, alphabet in the employee ID. So a unique number consists of only numerical values. All right. That's what I wanted to clarify and I wanted to explain because, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble when I was learning this. But I learned this in a hard way. Anyway, I've learned this, thank God. Anyway, now we have given the instruction to find. Now Access is asking, okay, I'm going to find it. But if there is no record, what, what do you want me to do? If there is a record, we know what, what we want. We want this information to be populated onto this form. But if there is no record, what do you want me to do? Well, we'll simply say, give an error saying there is no record for the employee number that you have typed in. So that's what we are going to do now. So if if rs dot no match equals true, then okay, what we are saying if there is no match of what user has typed in here, and you could not find it here, then throw a error box. So say do do cmd dot beep. And you throw a message box, say message box, and you say the employee does not exist. Okay. And uh, we can say we'll be critical and we can say information is the title. All right. So for some reason, my keyboard is not working properly else but if you found it then what you should do well then what we want is we want this information to be transferred onto this form so we'll simply say all right we'll say rs sorry me dot id equals rs exclamation id so what is happening we are giving reference of this a field with this field. So we are telling that this information 
should go to which text box so of course it is the id text box so it should go here okay and then we'll say employee id employee name and designations will repeat the same things so employee id equals rs m id okay me dot amp name equals rs amp name all right you keep repeating that so designation department doj me dot designation equals rs designation and me dot department equals rs department okay and then what do we have next doj manager and status so me dot doj equals rs as commission mark doj all right then we have manager and status me dot manager equals rs manager then you have me dot status equals rs status all right rs something wrong here uh, status okay yeah you see i found out that there's one t missing here you see how good the vb editor is yep mm, still it might take a little bit time status because we haven't saved the table yet that's why. okay so anyway this is correct now once we are done with that we will just simply, uh, that's it, we are done actually. We'll uh, actually close, uh, remember, whatever uh, records that you open, you must close. So we'll say, um, so you will say that rs.close set rs equals nothing, all right? give a little beep here so you know just for the response to the user that something has happened well you were known but you know at least anyway so we debug it we save it and we go and test it and this is the point we will see that if we are um if we if our code is correct so let's click on search and we get an error. Why? Because we haven't defined what will happen if the record set or if the search box is empty. Now I'm going to explain that as well. Uh, but first, let's test it out if we are able to find the record. So let's say 1002, that's the employee ID. And let's click on search. You can see that. The employee ID 1002, Superman, General Manager, Marketing, 10-10-10-2001, DC, and Active. Now, you want me to verify? All right, show. Sure. Let's go to Employee Table, and let's see the employee, employee 1002, and that's the Superman. Okay, now we'll see uh, Employee 1004, which is the Spider-Man. So, let's see if it picks up that information so we'll change it to 1004 and we'll search and let's be sure it has changed to spider-man okay now remember i demonstrated that if it is empty then what should happen now let's uh, uh, right now it is giving error it is saying this kind of weird error uh, 3077 that's the error code now let's fix that so how do we fix it well we go to search, we click on dot, 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 and we wrap this entire code in the if block. So we'll say if, again, if nz me dot txt search equals um, nothing, then do cmd dot beep message box, please provide the employee id or number to search for a record okay again f all right 
and it is we be critical and we'll say information again well excuse me folks this is the problem with my keyboard else now uh, you don't want this after else okay so it's better that you control x and then you put it right at the top okay now this should be fine but you have another end if right here ah uh, come on okay let's debug it and let's see if we are on the right path okay so i go here and i search again without adding any employee id and there you go please provide the employee id okay now if i type in 1003 i believe that's antman if i'm not mistaken so let's search it out there you go antman senior manager after sales that's the date of joining marvel status i hope this was this was the question i really do uh, maybe um you know if i have understood if i have not understood your question please do let me know if i have understood your question if this is what you are looking for let me know in the comments below as well and i'll be happy to know that your question is answered anyway this is it this is what i wanted to demonstrate thank you very much for watching this video if you're still watching you are legend um thank you and appreciate it uh, keep supporting the channel subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video thanks very much and i'll see you in the next one